Hey, Pete. So, not too shabby over here. In the uh, worst places, this is great. And I had a for the demo. Uh -huh. <laughs> that worked well. So while he, well, uh, while Pete is typing, I, let me explain what the end user, uh, this one is. So this is run, uh, this uh, application is running in a virtual machine, in public cloud. This VM has a GPU, otherwise uh, the uh, like builder application won't uh, won't work and rendering won't work. Um, this is just one app. Run any application in your browser. That's the the whole theme. Um, Pete is using his uh, using the browser on his local machine. Yeah, you can just disconnect, uh, Pete. Should we? Like an end user, uh, the demo we just saw, and also an admin. This is the admin interface. Let me go a little bit here so you can see the full picture. Um, summary: You can see the this environment is running in AWS. Uh, we do support Azure and Google and Nutanix AG. This machine has uh, uh, GPUs, uh, we support GPUs, multiple GPUs, AMD and NVIDIA, but also CPU only. And this is the interface you normally use for like day two uh, operations, uh, the typical uh, task, onboarding, installing apps, onboarding applications, uh, maybe updating application or uh, settings, um, creating a launch pad so that the end user can actually access the, uh, the application or a full Windows desktop interface. Um, uh, add users through different identity providers, uh, configure capacity so that many people can uh, can use the environment, um, uh, also elasticity so that machines are powered on when needed and powered off when uh, they're not being uh, used anymore, uh, especially in public cloud, super important uh, because that's con uh, attached to cost control. And then you have auditing and notification center and analytics and like many other things part of the uh, the admin interface. That's what in essence uh, is. You can use webcam, you can use microphone, um, USB, upload, download, print, like all the things you normally do with apps or, or can do, uh, can, can use with applications are possible through Frame, including access to all kinds of um, cloud storage platforms, Google Drive, Box, uh -huh. Dropbox, okay. OneDrive. Uh, I know you I stored your uh, files on OneDrive. On, on OneDrive, so that's an example where the integration yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, works. Exactly. So yeah. yeah, so yeah, this is like the cloud storage integration here. Uh, all kinds of session settings, uh, how to control like USB or microphone, camera, things like that. Printing, upload, download, clipboard. Um, some settings for the frame remoting protocol to sort of maximize settings. The protocol, as I mentioned earlier, automatically um, adapts based on network conditions. This is uh, session timers. Um, these are all like generic settings and you can also um, configure them individually for each launchpad. Uh, the launchpad is the web interface uh, Pete was using earlier to access the uh, application or desktop. Um, okay. So yeah, that's, uh, let's say frame, frame in action. So this is one frame account, uh, all the settings here. And if you summarize frame in two sentences from an end user perspective is run any application in, uh, in your browser. And from an, a sort of admin perspective, it's Okay, how can we make um, desktop as a service and application remoting super simple? And that's what Frame in essence is. That's great, uh, Ruben. Yeah. I so like this way I of uh, like metaverse and, and interacting with each, with each other. Uh, it feels in, in, in the, like maybe the first couple of minutes a little bit um, strange, awkward. But you really get used to like gestures, your hands, um, when you talk, yeah, your mouth you is moving, my mouth is moving. Uh, that's yeah. yeah, awesome. And also a lot I, of apps as well, like not only browser, but like uh, whiteboarding and drawing and uh, like adding files. Um, all great to see that uh, as part of.